Hi there. <coughs> Another quick vid. Um, this one's going to use, uh, we're going to be doing instancing and referencing. Um, so what I've got at the moment, if I turn the grid off, is just a 2D spline shape. Um, so we'll turn the grid back on again. Select the spline shape. I'm going to uh, hold down shift and drag it to the right and make a copy. And the type of copy or clone we're going to go and build is a reference copy. I'm going to make one of them. Sounds good. You know what? We might make two. Just to show the point that we can do two. Right, now, on this guy here, I'm going to go and add a lathe modifier. So, let's add that. Now, what you'll notice is that this doesn't get propagated and this one doesn't. So, we're going to delete him. So, what's happening is, this this is almost looking at, at the moment like it's just a normal clone that we've just copied this to that and I've added that and that there's, there is no connection but actually there is if I go into vertex mode and I move this guy around you'll notice that this particular object is connected in that in that fashion so what I can do is I can sort of see my end result here matter of fact let's let's go and add a few things to the right thing on the right hand side let's go select this guy let's go and add a shell modifier da -da 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 -da, shell and let's go and add a turbo smooth. So turbo smooth. There we go. We'll set it to two and put isoline display on and deselect it. There we go. So we're cool. It's so got this sort of wacky looking shape over this side. Okay. Go back into the 2D shape. Hit vertex mode, and I can sort of turn that into a different type of bottle pretty quickly. Yeah. So we'll sort of say, okay, quite like that. Maybe this isn't sort of uh, sharp enough here. Maybe we don't like this bit here. Yeah, I want a bit more of a uh, an edge on this. So let's uh, select that particular vertex, and we'll chamfer that by one. How does that work? There you go. It's a bit more of a bit of an edge on it, and we might go and sort of add that via one as well here. Okay, so we're getting that sort of shape. Then we might decide that this also could do with a chamfer of say two, and we get that. Okay, and then we might want to go and add in a uh, extra point just there okay and then we might decide that all right quite liking the look of this and so we've seen our end result here which is quite nice um we can switch that off have a good look at it and then switch that back on again have another good look at it um we can also decide that um let's go and add some refinement here uh here and there and then just go and grab this guy here and just pull this guy in at the moment he's set to be in like a smooth type thing so maybe that wants to be on the outside like that and we will actually go in here and change these to be in corner points instead so we get less geometry okay because we've got turbo smooth working anyway and then just go and add another point in sort of there and then just check that that's going to be a good lad and he is so let's go to there like so and grab this guy and we'll sort of grab this guy and put him sort of there as well and we get that sort of shape now but it doesn't really like hold so I might want to put some more holds on that so let's go into refine again uh, let's um, let's grab this guy while we're at it and drag him over here so he's really close to it okay and we can zoom in here and go vertex and then go to refine and add a guy there and add a guy there and add a guy there and there. How's that do? That's cool. And then grab that guy there and decide this guy's going to be maybe that way, like that. Or even might be like that. And then go and refine it again. And there you go. Isn't that wonderful? That's a fantastic looking model there, Stephen. Well done. I don't know. <laughs> And you can sort of say, well, that's a bit of a bit of a tight pinch there. Let's just move him down a bit, and we'll change his type to being corner again. And grab him, move him down. And grab him, move him up. Okay, and then we can sort of decide, oh, key cookie, but the whole thing wants to pull out. Maybe I don't know, like that. And we get that as our shape. We'll push it in. There you go, it's a salt cellar. And uh, yeah, there you go. So that's basically um, 
using referencing. Um, we'll hit perspective view and we can sort of see what we're looking at there. So you end up with this little guy here. Uh, select him. We've got the shell modifier working. It gives it some thickness. We can dial that up and down. Yeah, make it thicker and thinner. Make it chunky. I've got an inner and outer mount on it as well, so I can make it really chunky on the outside or not so chunky, depending whatever. I can bevel edges if I want to go and do that. I can add segments as well. So I've got to put that in there. You can see the segments working. Turn two both move off. You see the segments are in there. I've uh, got four, three, two, one. Okay, and then turn two both move on. And that is sort of that really. And that sort of is uh, there you go. That'll sort of do, wouldn't it? So, what we've got here um, is the original and a referenced copy. Anything that happens to this will propagate backwards and forwards. Um, if I, also, if I go down into this one, right into the vertex segment again here, let's go back to front view. You can see that I've got this same thing happening here. I can go and select these guys and decide to pull them back out again for, re for whatever reason. And decide that that needs to go down there, like sort of that, maybe. How about that? And I can show end result again and see what I've got. Um, so this is like working in a normal stack. This is having uh, an object offset, and I'm just looking at the base thing, but I can still see the results somewhere else. It could be in a different viewport, um, or it could be on a model, angled, and all the rest of it, all mucked around, whatever. Uh, so pretty cool. So this is referencing, um, and that anything that I do this side does get propagated this side. Yeah, so it goes back to the original model, and anything I move in the original model comes back to this model. But being referenced, uh, it's a one-way communication. Anything new I put on this for reference version, uh, anything extra, like a, um, all these modifiers, doesn't go backwards. Yeah, An instance would. An instance would do that. Um, so if I uh, grab this, for instance, here, for instance, excuse me, um, and I go and shift-drag this, okay, and I'll, I'll make this an instance of that one, hit go. And now, what at the moment I've got turbo sphere and all the rest of it. If I go and add a, uh, ooh, what could we add? <sighs> Let's try a taper, shall we? Uh, and I'll go and taper this down. Whoa, there we go. And uh, P for perspective mode. I think we're in the wrong angle, maybe. Uh, there we go. And I'll taper it down. Oh, it's a bell now. How good's that? And then I add a curve. Yeah, you can see that um, the thing we're doing here is going both is is working both ways and if I go to this guy here you notice this has got the taper so this is an instance of that uh, this guy won't get it because I'm just we're just going using on these two things here if I go back to this guy though still go to back to vertex still grab them guys on to move them around they still move they still do their thing yeah so um, best way to describe it is copy is a, a, a completely independent clone Referencing references back to the original one. Anything you put on the reference one, though, is completely separate to itself. That will not propagate back to the original. Um, and then instance is totally two-way. Whatever I do, yeah. If I if I delete my taper on here, it's deleted it on here. Let's go and select it on here. Ta uh, taper's not deleted. I just switched it off. If I delete it, it deletes it. Yeah. If I go to the shell modifier and I delete the shell modifier, they both go. Okay, so that's what instancing is. Instance is two way, referencing is one way, copy is unconnected. And that, children, is the end of today's lesson. I need to go and have my tea. So, uh, see you later. Ciao. Bye.